Yeah, I think it's test, but no, Scott was going, and this will be, I don't know, I had put it out as part of it. It's part five of my you know, free will video, you know, um, for, no, for, for this month, you know, I mean, uh, I'll probably go back to free will in like, you know, eight months' time or something like that. I'll do another free will video if, if it comes up and I watch something about it. But yeah, free will, a lot of people tend to use things like um, evil, you know, like, um, some mass murderer that takes a gun and then goes and shoot you, you know, in it. And then, like, no, like, Sam Harris talked about, you know, the day an examination on your brain, they find there was a physical abnormality, and that was probably what caused them to be angry and go and do this horrible fucking thing. Uh, what you've got to remember is, most people who take a gun and go and shoot people are mentally ill. They're not normal people. So, you could turn on and say, yeah, they've lost their free will because there's a physical thing you know, some physical abnormality, some psychological abnormality that makes them into these evil people, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you can't compare them to ordinary people and then say because they don't have free will because of something that's affecting them, nobody else has free will. That's, that's just not right. That's what's saying, well, here's a car and it was, you know, every now and then a, a car manufacturer produces a car that's, that's a piece of shit. Everything breaks down within months of it leaving the factory, you know what I mean? But you can't compare every other car to that, you know what I mean? It's it's the abnormal one. That was the one that was made on a Friday fucking evening, the last car after the line and people were whacked, get fuck came and so they didn't tighten this bolt, they didn't fucking connect that fucking tube, they didn't fucking, you know, do the right thing, you know, so that car comes off the line, somebody buys it and it's a piece of shit, you know what I mean? We all know about that, you know. We all know that, you know, if you go into a hospital, you know, an emergency on a Saturday or a Sunday, you're probably going to get some doctor who's been on for eight years and he's going to make a mistake and you, you've got a good chance of fucking dying in hospital from something simple that if it had been on a Tuesday afternoon, you would have survived and lived a long life. So you can't take these you know, abnormal fucking things and say uh, that that's that's how we can we, we know that no free will doesn't exist, you know what I mean? That's how we know that these cars were all crap. That's how we know that, you know, going to the hospital was bad for you. You can't fucking make these generalisations. When you look at the, you know, the, the, the best, you know what I mean, examples of where you could get free will, it's when people are put under pressure and the, the right and easy thing for you would be just to do what's being asked of you. Uh, you know, the right thing to do would be to grass on your... your your, your other POWs, you know what I mean? The right thing to be today would be to, you know, turn, turn your head and walk away when you see a girl getting grabbed by two guys and dragged into an alley, you know, screaming and kicking. You know, you just walk away and, and say nothing because they might turn on you. No, but, you know, free will is when you make the choice that's hard, which is against your own self-interest. That's free will. That is free will. That proves free will exists. Because otherwise people would go and go, oh, it's not doing me. No, that's not doing me. No, I'll just ignore it. Or, well, yeah, okay, yeah, for me to survive and not get tortured, yeah. Uh, they escaped out the back there, they're running down the field, they're going towards fucking, you know, the, the, the pontoons down the road to, to steal a boat, you know. Grass your fucking POWs up who escaped. You know, that, you know, but people didn't do that. People get tortured today. People get captured, you know what I mean, and, and tortured and, and held out for days under torture. Knowing that anything they say would put other people's lives in danger. Now, is, is that, you know, normal? To, to, to know that you're, you're going to get tortured and shot, but you turn around and say, I'm not going to tell you fuck all, and let them torture you. But, but that's, that, that's how the universe would, would say that you, you've got to work. That's, that's free will. You are making a fucking choice that puts your body in danger. You know, that's the proof of free will. And whether that, that decision came in your mind weeks before you got captured, or whether you decided as a young man, you know what I mean, grown up, that morally, if I ever see some girl getting dragged down the alley, I'm going to go over there and help. It was a decision you made. You made that decision, you know. And even if you act automatically at the time when something like that happens, you, you have already, with your own free will, 
hardened yourself to the idea of making that choice when that hard choice comes up, you know. It's a thing that you build into yourself, it's what they call character, you know. So, is it free will? Even if you made the decision long before the circumstance arises where you would ever have to make that decision? Yes, it's still free will. You've just programmed yourself and indoctrinated yourself to act like that. But it was a choice you made and all the way through your life you've been building up to those brave acts. You know what I mean? People who ignore those options, who give in and you know, give the game away, who walk past and ignore someone needing help, they've just never actually thought about themselves and other people and what they would do and that sort of something. They've never went through the, the psychological mind games that you do as a child, you know, as you're grown up, you know, what kind of person you're going to be. you just self-absorbed perhaps, I don't know. But even that, it's a choice. It's a choice not to participate, to not, not ever, even when it comes up, you've already made a decision, I'm not going to get involved. And that's not a decision you're making there at the spur of the moment, like when the opportunity to, to you know, go there and help or not. It's probably a decision you made as a child. And as, as Sam has them say, yeah, it's, it's probably conditioning that you've conditioned yourself to through past experiences. But that doesn't mean to say that it's not free will, because in every case that you might have had an opportunity to go and help someone, you've decided not to for your own safety. So that's a decision, that's a free will decision you've been making all your life and you're just not going against the decisions you've made before. That doesn't mean that if it was your sister you seen getting dragged in an alley, suddenly that would be different. That would be fucking different. If it's someone you personally knew you seen getting dragged in, then you would have to actually think, do you know what? I, I, I've got to rethink my, my view of not saying anything. Even if I don't actually go in there and physically you know, try to stop myself, I can at least shout out and say I've seen them, I can say I've called the police, I can try and do something, you know. There's all those other options open to you, you know what I mean? And the more personal that your connection with the person you see getting dragged into an alley to be raped or murdered or murdered, the mayor, it's going to affect you and the mayor likely you are to do something about it. So yes, uh, and is that just conditioning? Because a real coward wouldn't care if it was their mother. You know what I mean? Some people would see their own mother get dragged in an alley and just walk by. Craven might call it, but yeah, there are people like that in the world. So it is still free will. It's still something to do with what's in there, you know? And it's something that you would make choices about depending on the circumstances. And if there was no free will, the circumstances wouldn't matter. If the circumstances do matter, then there is free will. And you ask yourself, is there any circumstance where you would intervene in somebody being dragged down an alley? Just think about it. Is there any member of your family, any close friend, I mean, that you would actually say, yeah, I'm going to have to intervene here? Think about that. If it's a complete stranger, would you? If it's someone you know, would you? Would you have to make a decision, depending on whether it being a stranger and someone you know? And if, if that makes a, a, a difference, then free will does fucking exist. If it doesn't, then you're probably a sociopath and don't like your family or whatever. Don't like your friends, don't have any friends, you know what I mean? And don't care about the world and you just walk through it thinking of only yourself, you know what I mean? Or, in that case, you might want to go over and join in. <laughs> Ask for sloppy thoughts, I don't know. But, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. It does matter. What happens in front of you in life does matter. You do make decisions and choices depending on what's going on around about you. And that incorporates free will. As well as past experience, you know. 
So I think Sam Harris and all these, you know, free will doesn't exist. These people are wrong. They're fucking wrong. You know? So I'm just fucking bad motherfuckers. <laughs>